everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make this beautiful bucket hat stroke fedora because you can wear it like this as well as as a bucket hat so uh, these colors are inspired by our previous video which is of the rastafarian skirt if you haven't yet watched that video please make sure after this video you go and check out that skirt you can make that skirt in the same colors as the hat and then uh, we already have tutorials of some other bucket hats i'll be leaving them on the screen for you to see just in case you're looking for something more diverse than this so this is an a very easy approach that can spice up your crochet outfits and it's really quick to do so you can add it as a present for some of your clients who buy like full sets and i think that's a very beautiful way to say thank you to your clients for purchasing from you so today's tutorial we're going to use a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook uh, a pair of scissors a dunning needle a measuring tape and we're going to use these same exact colors to create this hat just like you see here and this project is mainly worked with half double crochet so let me take you through the process and we'll learn how to make this beautiful piece so for the yarn i'll be using fingering weight yarn and i'll be using two strands of the fingering weight as well as yellow two strands but for the red this is a dk weight yarn so i'll be using one strand of the red so if you see me using two strands at some point then one strand at some point that's the reason why so you're going to start off with your middle color which is uh for me that is green as you can see here so we're going to make a magic ring grab your hook and your yarn and you're going to uh, rotate that yarn around your two fingers and then you insert your hook into this loop pull up a loop and then just hold we have created a circle here that's the magic ring now we're going to make a chain of one and that doesn't count as a chain or a stitch this just closes off the magic ring and then you're going to make a chain of one which counts as a chain this time and you're going to make a total of 10 half double crochets into the magic ring so for a half double crochet you're going to yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you'll have three loops on your hook for me there are six because i'm using a double strand and then yarn over pull through all we are using the us terms so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all now we're going to repeat that until we have a total of 10 half double crochets for round one this is the fourth and if you would like the written pattern it's already available on all my online shops you can grab one there seven eight nine and ten so once you have your ten half double crochets make sure you cross check you're going to pull on the tail of the magic ring to close it up just pull on that tail that we left behind to close up the magic ring and then you're going to go into the very first half double crochet that you made this one and you're going to place one slip stitch I hope the colors are visible this is kind of a dark color but i hope i'm explaining it well just place a slip stitch into the very first half double crochet that you made so we're going on to round two you're going to make a chain of one and then we're going to place two half double crochets into each and every stitch starting with the very first one where we place the slip stitch of the previous round so you're going to go into that same stitch Pull up a loop yarn over pull through all the three loops and then go into the same stitch with a half double crochet so those are two half double crochets placed into the same stitch and then you're going to go into each and every stitch around placing one half sorry placing two half double crochets into each and every stitch 
and at the end of round two you should be having a total of 20 half double crochets in case you want to cross check because uh, for round one we had a total of 10 half double crochets round two we are placing two half double crochets into each which brings us to 20 half double crochets So just to cross check before I wind up, I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So once you have your 20 half double crochets, you're going to go into the very first half double crochet that you made with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into the stitch. and then pull through all that's a slip stitch and then you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn we are going to be uh, making two rows of each and every color so introduce your next color for me that will be yellow as you can see here grab your next color the fact that i'm still using fingering weight yarn for yellow i'm going to use two strands as well so make a slip knot and then you're going to go into that stitch where you placed the slip stitch of the green color into that same stitch attach your yellow yarn like that and then make a chain of one the chain of one of this uh, pattern doesn't count as a stitch by the way so you're going to yarn over go into that same stitch into the same space and place a total of two half double crochets just like that and then into the next stitch you're going to go in there with one half double crochet and then that's the repeat for this round two half double crochets into the next and one half double crochet into the next so repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you back at the beginning of round three two one two one So we're almost coming to the end of round three and you should end your round with one half double crochet into the very last stitch. And then from here, you're going to go into the very first half double crochet of the round and place a slip stitch. Just like that, chain one. And then we're going to make a second round of yellow. So for round four, you're going to go into the same stitch where you place the slip stitch with two half double crochets just like that and then one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches so by the way for round three you should be having a total of 30 half double crochets so round four uh we've already done two half double crochets and one in each of the next two stitches so the, the repeat for this round four is two half double crochets and then one in the next and one in the next just like that two one and one so repeat that all the way around and i'll meet you back at the beginning of your round so we are coming to the end of our round four and you should be ending your round with one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches just like that 
and then we are going to make one slip stitch into the very first half double crochet of the round so insert your hook and pull through all and then you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn pull through that marks the end of the yellow color now we are going to introduce our next color which is going to be red and for red as i had mentioned before uh, we are going to use one strand because it's a DK weight yarn so it's thicker than the fingering weight so you're going to make a slip knot just like that and then attach your yarn into that stitch where you placed your last slip stitch of round four insert your hook there and you're going to attach your yarn just like that and then you're going to make a chain of one and into the same space you're going to place two half double crochets one and two just like that and then into the next three stitches you're going to place one half double crochet into each one two and three so the repeat for this round is two one 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 just like that so repeat this all the way around placing two half double crochets into the next and then one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches So we are coming to the end of our round five and we have three stitches left so after your two half double crochets here you're going to place one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches and that marks the end of round five and you should be having a total of 50 half double crochets for this round after this you're going to go into the very first half double crochet and place a slip stitch so that's round five let's go on to round six you're going to make a chain of one since you are making two rows of each color so this is the second round of red chain one into the first stitch you're going to place two half double crochets and one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches so one two three and four just like that and then two half double crochets into the next one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches and repeat that all the way around So we're coming to the end of round six and you should be having a total of four stitches left after your very last increase. So you're going to place one half double crochet in each of the last four stitches and then you're going to place one slip stitch into the very first half double crochet of the round. After this you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn. Now we are going to go back to our very first color which is green because the flow of the pattern is green yellow red then green yellow red green yellow red like that so we're going back to our green color and then you're going to make a slip knot just like before and uh, right now we have a total of 60 half double crochets for our round six so insert your hook where you place the slip stitch of the sixth round and attach your green color this is round seven you're going to make a chain of one and then two half double crochets into the very first stitch where you place the slip stitch of round six so after this you're going to place one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches
just like that and then two half double crochets into the next and then one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches and repeat that all the way around sorry power is off all right so guys we are going to use some natural light as opposed to the artificial light that i usually use but i hope you can see the stitches even better in natural light so we are coming to the end of round seven and uh, we have five stitches left of after our very last increase here so we're going to place one half double crochet in each of the five stitches So once you're done with that, you're going to go into the very first half double crochet that you made with a slip stitch, just like that. Now round seven should be having a total of 70 half double crochets all the way around. We're going on to round eight and I hope by now you're noticing the flow of the pattern. Round eight starts with a chain of one and into that very stitch, you're going to place two half double crochets. One and two just like that and then in each of the next six half double crochets you're going to place one half double crochet into each so one two three four five and six so we have two half double crochets and then one in each of the next six stitches and then two half double crochets into the next and then one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches so that's the repeat for this round go all the way around and i'll meet you back at the beginning of the round okay guys as you can see right now we have um Four colors so far and i'm on uh, the eighth row i'm done with that with my eighth row and that pattern was two double crochets in one stitch and one double crochet in each of the next six stitches so once you get to this point you're going to place one slip stitch into the very first stitch to wind up your eighth round and when we take a measurement across our circle, uh, we are getting a total of around 6.5 inches. 6.5. And at this point, um, this will fit for a normal size head, like uh, a 21 inch circumference head. So we are going on to the next bit and we are going to continue to work two two rows of each color because that's what my client wants so we are going to chain one and cut our yarn and introduce our next color but this time uh, we are no longer going to work a flat circle we are going to do something different we are going to start um, creating the vertical body of the bucket hat so we're going to make a slip stitch a slip knot sorry so i'm following the same exact color combination so from green to yellow to red so this is green that means the next color will be yellow so i'll attach into that stitch where we place the slip stitch and at this point we're going to stop increasing if your head is bigger or you want a bigger coverage then you may consider adding more rounds to the flat circle if your head is smaller than 21 inches you may consider removing one round or two in order to get the size that you need if you're making for a child definitely you're going to size it down at least you move two or three more rounds so at this point we are going to make a chain of one and we are going to go into the back loop of each and every stitch now the very first one is exceptional because we can't see the back loop where we have 
attached our yarn so i'll make one normal half double crochet into that stitch so that i don't miss it then for all the rest we are going to place one half double crochet back loop only so a stitch has this loop and the back loop so we are going into the back loop so that we can change the direction of the bucket hat to start creating that vertical movement and then the other thing is we are also going to stop increasing so just go into each and every stitch with one half double crochet back loop only so the other thing that you can do starting from the second stitch you're going to go into the back loop and also the loop at the base those two back loops of each and every stitch just to make it more solid so i hope you're seeing what i'm doing just go into each each and every stitch into the back loop and the loop below it so each stitch has two back loops they are the ones that i'm going into in order to create that very solid and sturdy feel of the bucket hat if you go into only one loop it may create holes that we may not want at the end of the project so I'm going into both the back loops of the project so that my bucket hat can change direction so just go all the way around into each and every two back loops of each stitch with only one half double crochet and you can see how the direction of the bucket hat has changed so go all the way around and I'll meet you back at this point so I'm coming to the end of uh, round nine as you can see here and now I'm going to go into the very last stitch into the back loops and I'm going to place my half double crochet there and then go into the very first half double crochet of the round and I'll place a slip stitch now that I'm following uh, two rows of each color, that means the next round is still going to be yellow. So you're going to just make a chain of one and make one half double crochet into the very first stitch. And then into each of the next half double crochets, you're going to place one half double crochet into each and every stitch actually here you don't have to work into the back loops now the direction of the heart has already changed and for the next rows you're going to just make one half double crochet into each and every half double crochet from the row below so i'll just speed through this because this is the normal that we know just make sure you're not increasing at any one point just go into each and every stitch with only one half double crochet all right now we're coming to the end of our 10th round and i'm placing my last half double crochets into the last stitches just like that and i'll make one slip stitch into the very first half double crochet of the round chain one and cut my yarn remember i'm still following two rows of each color so that means my next color is red and we're going to keep repeating this round until um remember where we placed the back loop only and then the hat changed direction right from row round nine actually round nine we are going to continue working until we have a total of three inches right from that point three inches only so i'm going to keep working until i have my three inches total and then i'll meet you back just keep working this round of no increases and uh, just to remind you uh, if you've forgotten just grab your next color whatever color that you're using and then attach it into that stitch where you place the slip stitch like that chain one and half double crochet into the same stitch and then half double crochet into each and every stitch around 
once because we are not making any increases or decreases so keep working that until you have a total of three inches and then i'll meet you back at that point all right guys um i'm at that point whereby the middle section of the heart remember where we did the back loop half double crochet from that point all the way down here is exactly three inches now we are going to start working on the brim of the hat i don't want this section to be very long because i have worked a bucket hat before where i did four inches and it turned out so long and this is a man's hat that means um we are not considering hair as well and uh i don't want this to be so long so i've gone for three inches so from here i'm going to get my next color and this will be my final color i don't want to introduce a bright color on the brim and thank god uh, i have reached that point at a part where i have to introduce green which is kind of like a dark color i don't usually like bright colors on my brim so at this point we're going to start on the brim we're going to attach our yarn into the stitch where we placed the slip stitch of the previous round. Just like this. Attach your yarn. And you're going to make a chain of one and half double crochet into the same exact stitch. And after your half double crochet, we're going to go all the way around in each and every stitch. And we're going to place one half double crochet into the front loop only so remember the other one was back loop now this time we are going to go into the front loops so that we can um change the direction of the hat you can see what i'm doing right now i'm going into the front loop the stitch has this loop here and the loop at the back so i'm going into the front loop only if you can see that just do that all the way around and yeah i'll meet you back towards the end of the round and show you how to make your second round that is going to flare out and create some sort of ruffle feel for your brim so you can see how our work is branching off from the middle body of the of the heart if you can see this just Pay close attention. The direction of the heart is now branching outwards, as you can see here on the inside. And that's exactly what we want. So if I place it down like this, it's like we have some sort of branch off towards the outside of the heart. So go all the way around. I'll meet you back at this point. All right, guys, we are coming to the end of our round. And this should be round round 19 so i'm placing my very last front post sorry my very last front loop half double crochet into the last stitch so after this you will go into the very first stitch and i've decided that my brim will be green all through so what i'm going to do for the next round we're going to start creating some increases so chain one and into the very stitch or the very first stitch you're going to place one half double crochet into the next stitch you're going to place one half double crochet and then into the next you're going to place two two half double crochets and that's going to be the sequence of this round one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two half double crochet into the next stitch so go all the way around repeating this one one and two one one and two just like that and you're going to go all the way around creating this okay guys uh i've gone all the way around and i'm placing my very last two half double crochets into the next stitches just like this and i'll place one slip stitch into the very first half double crochet 
so um you can see how the bucket hat is spreading outwards and since it's for a guy i don't want to to make the ruffles more dramatic than this this will look weird so he wants something more masculine and i think this is the only increase round that i'm going to make and then for the next rounds i'm going to just make a chain of one and place one half double crochet into each and every stitch all the way around the brim will spread out automatically because we've made the increases on the previous round so that means uh, our bucket hat is going to literally kind of spread outwards as you can see here so for the next uh Two to three rounds i'm going to just make plain rounds of half double crochets using my green color which is my brim color and i'm not going to change any colors and then i'll meet you back to show you what i'll have after this and then later on i'll show you how to weave in your ends neatly so that we can get a very professional look and finish for our bucket hat all right guys after my five rounds for the brim we are done with the general structure of the hat and we're going to do just something very small something tiny to create an edging for the base of our hat so you're going to do a reverse single crochet so you're going to go into the stitch before and pull up a loop yarn over pull through all just like that and then go to the stitch before so we are working in reverse and you're going to see what texture that's going to create on the surface of the brim or on the downer part of the hat so this is what we are creating i feel like it's more well finished this is totally optional if you don't want it don't make it you can just leave it at the half double crochet row but i'm going to do this reverse single crochet just to give it a little bit of you know those little details that you add to your pieces even if they are not very visible but for a person who pays close attention to what's going on those people will always notice that final touch of your project So look at this, look at what we have as opposed to this. Let me know in the comment section, do you like this plain edge or you prefer this edge that has a little bit of detail? So go all the way around i'll meet you back towards the beginning of the round and i'll show you how to wind up all right guys so we are placing our very last single crochet into the last stitch like that and then i'm going to make a chain of one and cut my yarn and then pull through this chain of one, we're going to just attach it to the chain that we have here. And then make a knot, a double knot. Then from here, uh, this is what our edge looks like. Look at that. Look at that detail. Oh my God. I'm obsessed with this because I really love the small details on crochet pieces. And look how professional that looks like right now. We are finally done. And now you're going to turn your work onto the wrong side and get your darning needle. This is a must because um, look at the inside, guys. Look at how neat it is as well. So instead of just tying um, these strands every time that we have two strands meeting at every point, we are going to weave them in very well very neatly so that we can get a professional look for our bucket hat so get your darning needle 
and we are going to start weaving in the tails right from the exact center of our bucket hat so you're going to go in and out of a few stitches of the same exact color we don't want to weave in a green into a yellow color because that will create confusion and disorganization for our pieces all right guys after weaving in all your ends this is what you're going to have very professional very good presentation when it comes to the inside this is what it looks like the wrong side of the work and this is what it looks like on the outside and i hope you're pleased with this particular version i'll be making the female version soon and thank you so much for watching this video make sure you share it with your friends and recommend my channel to all your crochet friends i'll see you again in my next tutorial make sure you're subscribed and make sure your notifications are turned on because we're going to be very busy for the month of september i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you in my next one bye